uh, in circumstances that some have found murky. Uh, she launched her own lawsuit instead, and of course, yesterday, Tokyo District Court awarded her uh, 3 .3. In this decision, court decided that the, this intercourse was un, um, sorry, um, unlawful. unlawful and there was no consent. So that says that um, in current our rape law, which doesn't have word of consent, which we have to, the survivor have to prove the rape. And the way to prove it is that to prove how much you've been threatened, how much you've been violated. And that's the problem within in our current rape law. So what I feel right now is that now in this civil case, it sh judge decided it was, there was no consent. Therefore, so that, that shows a lot what we are missing in our rape law. And um, next year, it's, it's um, three years since we um, reformed our 110 year old rape law in 2017, and we have this chance to change again. And I love to highlight this point um, of unconsen unconsensual sex is rape. えっと、コメント the, the arrest warrant which was issued by the court was um, hasn't been um, used, even though all the investigators were waiting at the gate at Narita Airport when he was coming back to Japan. And I've talked about this to many journalists, many professionals, and they never heard these cases unless the uh, suspect is running out, away outside to Japan then they can't use the um, arrest warrant, so that could happen, but it's very um, unheard of. And and then we got to know the, the then head of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police um, Investigation Department, Itaru Nakamura, was the one who stopped it. And he, on, he also admitted that he did it. So I wrote him letter, um, asking the reason why he did it. Because all the um, evidence, all the um, witness was actually at Takanawa Bureau, not in the Tokyo Metropolitan Police, because they were planning to take him straight from Narita Airport to the Bureau. So there was no way that he could have seen these detailed um, evidence and witness. So I asked, what, what did you see? but I never got the answer. So I went to his doorsteps many times to ask this question. He ran away. I never thought I would chase after police in my life, but that's what I had to do. But until today, I don't have any answer for that. And therefore, I have no evidence and I don't know what really had happened. But if they can't give me any reason why this um, um, rare decision has made, I just have to question, and th if this happened to my case, it could happen any other case. It could be more serious. So we really have to take this as a, um, um, we have to really consider about this because this is very scary if the head of uh, Metropolitan Police can do such a thing. <laughs> Eh, 
証言者の方がいますその方は私たちの姿を一番最後に見ていってくださった方でしたその方は仕事の関係もありあの本当にいろいろなことをリスクにしてお話ししてくださいましたで「MeToo」がなかなか日本で広まらないと海外のメディアから言われますけれども声を多く上げている方多くたくさんいらっしゃいますただそこをあの受け受け皿になるところが少ないだけだと私は思っていますなので今こうやって皆さんが聞いてくださっていることがすごく重要だと思いますしだからこそ私たちは We Too を始めました誰もが加害者被害者傍観者にならないためですそしてこの最後の傍観者という部分でこの証言してくださった方またはこれまで証言してくださった方が本当に大きな役割と今までなってきましたあの性犯罪というのは閉じられた場所で行われるものですなのでその前後を見たその人たちっていうのは本当にあの重要な人々ですその声がもっともっと出てきてその声が守られるような、えー、動きになっていただけたらこういった難しいケースでも、えー、解決の糸口解決につながるんではないかなと思います